Today on Pots and Trials, I'm going to show you how to start your dahlia tubers into growth, and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Dalak. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well today I'm going to show you how you can start dahlias off in pots and, and dahlias are really really popular flowering plants at the moment and they come in all different shapes and sizes. You can grow them in containers, you can grow them in the garden if you want them for cut flowers or you can just use them to fill gaps in the borders between shrubs and perennials where they're going to flower from mid to late summer right the way through until autumn when the frost will cut them back. They come in different sizes, you can get the tiny little pot pom-pom dahlias which are very delicate you can get what we call the big cactus head dahlias on there and everything in between in all different shades and colors and some have actually got colored foliage as well so a really attractive and diverse range of plants they all grow from what we call a root tuber and there are different types of tubers and this is a, a swollen underground root that acts as a food store to keep the plants ticking over when they're dormant and at this time of the year if you want to start some off you'll find them in garden centers pre-packed like this just the, the dormant tubers there that you can start into growth different ways you can do this of course you can plant them directly into the soil but we're going to start ours off in pots so these are some that i'm going to grow in the garden this year so i'm just going to open this one up this is a, a lovely variety called creme de cassis and um, it's one we saw last year at fothergills at the seed trials and i'm just going to empty the contents out this one has got two tubes in the bag very often they've only got one in there and we can see here if we just separate them out yes it is two not of equal size um, we've got this one here which is the main tuber and then this smaller one here it will still grow and then we've got some extra bits here now don't think you've got a bonus if you've got these we've we have still only got two here because a root tuber um, is very different to a stem tube. A potato is a stem tube. And if you know with a potato, if you cut it into sections, as long as it's got an eye on it, it will grow. But with one of these here, this root tuber, this is the tuber itself, the fleshy swollen root. This is the stem that I'm holding here of the plant that grew last year. These are grown especially for this market. If this is a tuber that I had had two or three years, this would have multiple old stems here, but this is where it was cut down. Now we've got to have this stem attached. A piece of root on its own is no good. It's got to have the stem because the dormant buds that are gonna to grow to make the new shoots are all around this collar here where the roots and the stem meet. So without the stem, it won't grow. So for example, these bits here, that have broken off in the packaging um, sadly won't grow at all so you know don't pot them up it's a waste of time they are just damaged roots so i'm going to get rid of those and what we need to do with these is when we've unpacked them is inspect them any damaged bits see there's a damaged root just here on this one that will have done when it was lifted from the field I'm just going to trim that off because that won't do anything it's just going to rot away and any of these little roots that are damaged like this we can just trim off just to tidy it up a little bit so we've got a nice solid tuber there and in fact fairness this one here is being broken so I'm going to cut it off it won't make any difference to the growth there's still enough food reserve in these remaining ones here and likewise this is only a small one admittedly um, I would just probably trim off some of these very fine roots on here um, that are just going to rot away in the compost as long as we've got that main thick root that is all we need so that is our tuber now now various ways that we could grow this um, if you were planting these directly into the garden we wouldn't put them out at this time of the year certainly here in the uk where we are in north yorkshire um, i would plant dahlias directly into the ground where i want them to flower no earlier than sort of mid april time and um, the soil's warming up then they will start to grow because we've got to time it so that when these new tender shoots push through the soil hopefully the danger of frost has gone or we can protect them because the frost will cut them back so they're not going to grow until may time anyway in the garden um, another way you can do it is what we're going to do is to pot them up and start them into growth in a conservatory or a cold frame or a cold greenhouse as long as they're kept frost free they will start into growth and that will give us a great 
growing plant that we can then transplant out into the garden when the danger of frost has gone in the spring. And I wouldn't normally pot them up if I was doing it for that purpose, again until probably mid to late March just to get them into growth. But here we are, um, middle of February. I want to start these a little bit earlier than that because what I want to do is to take some cuttings. So I want to encourage nice new shoots to grow from the base of the old stem that I can then take off, root them individually. And from this one tuber, I'm hoping that I can get maybe three or four new plants for the garden. So this is the time to pop them up if you want to propagate them by cutting. So really easy to do. So what I'm just gonna do is move away some of this onto the floor because we need some compost. So this is just a multi-purpose compost here that I use for seed sowing and potting like that. And then we need a pot. And the size of pot will depend on the size of the tuber. For example, a little tuber like this one, I can put in this one. This is a one litre pot. This one is a bit bigger. I think that's going to be a bit crammed in there. So I'm just going to go for a slightly bigger pot. There's no need to go huge with the pot. That would fit in there nicely. Um, you could go slightly bigger if you wanted. Let's just have a look. Get the right pot for it. Yeah, maybe that one is the better pot. So that's a two litre pot. So you've just got to try a pot. And then what I'm going to do is hold in the tuber with the stalk that was there originally, the old flowering stem. I'm going to hold it into the pot and then I'm just going to trickle some compost around it. And we want to make sure that these swollen roots, these tubers, are in contact with this moist compost. So I'm just giving it a bit of a shake so that it filters down in between them so that there's no big air gaps in there so that they will then make some small feeding roots that will start the whole process into growth. Now, if I were planting this in the garden, I would plant it so that this is sort of soil level and everything is buried. But because I want to start this off as cuttings, I'm going to leave it slightly proud, as you can see. So I'm just going to cover that over, give it a couple of taps to settle that compost. And that is it. So we've got here the top of the roots um, and we've got the base of the stem where I said the dormant buds will be around here. So I want that just to be visible. And then what I need to do, of course, is to pop a label in there because one tuber looks very much like another and it's very easy to get mixed up. And then I'm just going to give that a drop of water just to moisten that compost. If it settles too much, don't worry, you can always just put a little bit more compost on it, but it doesn't matter because this is not going to be outside in the frosty weather. This is going to be inside where it's frost free now. Um, so as I said, a greenhouse, as long as it's frost free or conservatory, even a, a cool, bright window. So we'll just put it on a saucer and wait. And what will happen after two or three weeks, we will see little buds developing around there. And then when they're at that stage, I'm going to show you how to take them off with just a sliver of the tuber, put them into small pots and you can root them to produce new plants for going out into the garden at the end of May that will then be glorious and full of flowers from midsummer right the way through until autumn. So if you want to start your dahlias, now is the time to go to your garden centre or send off for some mail order and get them started off like this. Thank you for watching Pots and Trials. And remember, all our gardening videos can be viewed on YouTube. So just search for Pots and Trials and enjoy watching them. Next week, I'm going to show you how to pick out onion seedlings. So we'll see you then. Bye.